Akala ko po ay magiging pari si Father Dan two years ago pa. Kasi kasama siya sa pioneer batch ng Mary Help of Christians Theology Seminary. Akala ko maordain na siya nung July. Akala ko rin magiging August. At akala ko October na talagang talaga. At akala ko mapopospo na naman kahapon. Pero kahapon, nagsalita ang Diyos at sinabi sa ating lahat, Alam ko na yan, November 17, 2020, magiging pari si Dan Soriano. Hindi dalawang taon na ang nakakalipas, hindi sa susunod na taon, hindi bukas, kundi kahapon. Hindi yun guhit ng palad, yon ay kalooban ng Diyos. How did we reach November 17 and not July, not August, not October? But November 17, how did we reach the Church of Padre Pio and not the cathedral or anywhere else? It is all a mystery. The call of Dan to be a priest is a mystery. It is a mystery because God who is almighty and all holy calls men who are weak and who are defective to represent Him. God chooses men who are exactly His opposite to represent Him here on earth. And Father Dan, since yesterday until your last breath, you're going to hold the mysteries of God in your hands. Your hands can never be clean enough to handle the mysteries of God. Our hands will always remain dirty and soiled and tainted by sin. But every day, you will hold the holy body of the Lord. Every day, your lips will drink from the chalice of the Lord. Every day, you will speak the word of God to God's people. You will handle the mystery of God's love. And that call will always be a mystery for us. Too much to comprehend. The priest will not be able to completely understand how much God loves him. Because if the priest would understand how much God loves him, he would die on the spot. Because his heart is too small, his body is too small, his understanding is too little to comprehend the mystery of God's love for him. Unfortunately, to the parents of Father Dan, Mama at Papa, walang bawian. Kapag nakita ninyong nahihirapan ang anak ninyo, sabihin lang ninyo sa inyong sarili, pinili siya ng Diyos para dyan. It was not a call to follow Him in the glorious mysteries of Galilee. It was a call to follow Him from the agony in the garden to the crucifixion. Sometimes that suffering can come from within the church, from his own brother priests, and even from us bishops. Sometimes the pain and the cross can come from the same parishioners for whom he is willing to die. Sometimes that cross, that pain, can also come from himself because he knows that he is a sign of contradiction that he is struggling with so many faults, that he needs to be healed with so many sins, that he has secret skeletons in the closet known only to God, and those will cause sufferings. Christ has wounds, and the priest must have wounds to prove that he is a priest. It is not the wounds of sin, but it is the wounds of service. It is the wounds of prayer. It is the wounds coming from love. If you get wounded loving the Lord, if you get wounded loving the church, if you get wounded loving your brother priests, do not ask the Lord to set you free from those wounds. 
like Padre Pio, let them bleed for the rest of your life. Because if God called you to follow Him, God also called you to bleed your wounds for Him from now on until you die. Pain and suffering, that is a mystery. My dear Dan, your whole life will be a mystery. Yesterday, prostrated on the altar, you proclaimed without saying it, I am Dan Philip of Jesus. Through Him, with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Yesterday was amazing. Though many people said that it was not a typical celebration of priestly ordination, but it was still awesome and memorable. You know, when I was still in the seminary and I dreamt of having such celebration where the church is full packed and even overflowing with people and where everybody seemed to admire the newly ordained priest. But yesterday was different. Mine was unique. Because of the pandemic, my dream celebration of ordination remained to be a dream. Hindi man lang makauwi ang mga ate ko na nasa ibang bansa para masaksihan sana ang aking ordinasyon. A voice was heard, and then the voice said, I am Jesus of Dan Philip. Dan has chosen to belong to me, and I have chosen to belong to him. Dan, you will hold the Lord like an earthen vessel. Take care of it. You will hold the Lord in your human weakness, be careful. Life will always be a mystery, too much to comprehend. When we see you, Father Dan, may we see the face of Christ mysteriously showing His face to us through you.